Hi, AJ. Um, when I was 17, I remember going to sleep and waking up and living a life. Um, I went to a place, I had a home, I had a family, I had friends. And then I'd go to sleep and I'd wake up and I'd go to school, go to uni, did art. I'd go to sleep and I'd wake up. And it happened for a couple of weeks, and then it got to a point where... Are you, you're saying during the course of an evening you'd have many sleeps and wakes that you would, were, were actually feeling you were having while you were asleep in your awake state? Sort yeah, of when I was... So, I, in my wake state, I'd go to school. And so, in I, your awake state, so you're awake? I'm, a, I'm alive, I'm here. During to, the day? Yes. On earth? Yes. And then when you went to sleep? I went to another house... So you and went to another house. Another life. Yeah. And I had families and friends. Yeah. And I interacted. I did things. And then I'd go to sleep in that state. So you go to sleep there. Yeah. And I'd wake up in day state again. So you'd I'd wake come. up in this state? Yes. Oh, okay. And yeah. I did that for a couple of weeks. And it got to the point where my, when I'd go to sleep physically, like now, it got better. My other state was better. So I'd look forward to going to sleep but then it got to a point where I started feeling I was going crazy yeah. because I actually couldn't tell the difference anymore yeah. and that moment when I said oh, I'm not going crazy it stopped instantly and I couldn't do it anymore and it was a really strange experience it's quite frightening actually yeah and um, when you were in this sleep awake you know when you're awake but you were asleep state did you feel like you're on earth still um, in another location yeah, it, it was real. Yeah. I was, it was a full life. It was, and it was, and I, there wasn't any other dreams. It was just that. And it was, con like, and it was, I, I would take off, like, if I was painting a, a painting. And you have no idea I, what cause this? No. Like, it's pretty obvious. Uh, sorry? It's very obvious. Oh, I didn't want to be in my physical state? No. No? Oh, I was, you mean I was in my spirit body in a dream state? No. No. I, I don't know. <laughs> Does any, anybody know? It's really, really obvious. But nobody knows. Interesting. <laughs> Mary knows. You overcloaked another person on earth when you went to sleep. Oh, wow. And you lived overcloaking her life. Wow. And then when you woke up, you were back to your life. Yeah, because it was, it was a whole... Like, if I, in my dream state, if, say, I was doing an uh, artwork or something, and I'd go, wake up here, and then when I went back, I went back to that same place. You preferred her life. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's a bit shocked about that. I yeah, you can did. overcloak another person, just like spirits overcloak you, while you're in your sleep state. They do it to you. They do it to you, you can do it to them. Oh and, and many of you do this, by the way, believe it or not. Do you think it's very fair? No, but it does happen. <laughs> so this is something to be aware of. This is some of the things we want to discuss today. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Um, so does that mean that some of the spirits that, you know, well, I'm not, I don't feel I'm sensitive, but, you know, that I hear about, yeah. that they could be people from Europe, or Definitely. Wherever. Definitely. Visiting us. Wow. Definitely. <laughs> okay. Yes. The majority of people, in fact, do not like to go to sleep and go to their own place in the spirit world. So what the majority of people finish up doing is they finish up overcloaking or haunting, you could say, people on earth and they remain connected to the earth while they're asleep, in just in another location. It makes life pretty complicated, doesn't it? <laughs> but we all do it for an emotional reason. You see? This is what we want to get at, what we deny. So, Igor? Um, does your spirit body mind has any control in your sleep state? It has all control. So you're conscious of what you're doing? You're totally conscious of what you're doing. It's not just emotions playing out. Oh, certainly it's emotions playing out, but you are totally conscious of what you're doing. Yes. This is why most of you don't want to remember your sleep state. Because you, you're doing things that are not very loving to other people in your sleep state, and you don't want to remember. So what we do is we just do what we do with everything we don't want to remember. What do we do with that? We just block it all out. 
We just go, nah, that can't happen, and go on with our life, right? Isn't that what we do generally? Yeah. yeah. So um, is this what deja vu or having the feeling of being there before or going to some place that you physically haven't been there before and you remember that's what all this is about, you go travelling in your sleep state? You've definitely been there before, mm. just in, in your spirit body most of the time. Yep, yep, definitely. Natalie, and then across to Joy. So then you use the example of when we don't, when we're awake and we don't want to know about something, we just block it out. Yep. Is it the same process then that you just have to start having a desire to know and yes. start feeling through the emotions that actually block you from knowing? Yes. Okay. We'll talk about that later. Okay. Mary's got some lovely examples to give you later about that. Yep. Joy? Um, and that means we're continuing to degrade our soul condition? Yes, oh, many are. So. Continuing to degrade their soul condition in their sleep state while they think they're improving it in their awake state. Yep, that's very true. Gary? Just down. So the, the person that's been overcloaked, would they act differently and, you know, become, you know, seeing, seeing you're overcloaking them, that person would be thinking differently and acting differently to their family and, and probably people can't say, you know, what's wrong with him today? He's, he's like someone else. Totally, but for many of us it's been happening for such a long time that they just think it's a normal part of your personality that's yeah. not actually you. Like they might be um, called schizophrenic or something like that? That's correct, yeah. Often it's called uh, an illness of some kind, but, but for many it's not even noticeable in terms of there, are, there is a sympathetic attraction between the person who is a near wake who is awake and the person who's in the sleep state overcloaking the person who's awake and as a result sometimes the people around them know that something's different that something's you know they're not connected or something's different but but they don't really know what's up and they start over a period of time you know what it's like over a period of time you just accept it don't you you just accept that's what it's like so so there's nothing else to do uh, just behind pete if we go so AJ, does that mean that I could be now somebody else listening to you and it's not really me that's it listening to you and I'm not interested in listening to you really? It's a possibility, but at the moment that's not the case for yourself right now. But it certainly is the case for some others in the audience right now. Because my heart's just beating ten to the dozen over that thought. Yeah. It's amazing really, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Just go behind with the mic, straight behind you. Uh, like if you have to, if you meet somebody and you think you know that person, is that you might have overclocked that person in this? Um, you've you've obviously had something to do with that person in your sleep state. Yeah. Yeah. And and there's all sorts of things you could have had to do with them. You could could have just had a chat with them. You yeah. could have just met up with them somehow and then planned the meeting in your awake state. There's all sorts of things you can do. Some of which are malevolent and some of which are benevolent and some of which are in the grey area in between those two states. All right. So there's a lot of things that happen in your sleep state, yep. You yep. just can, okay, thanks.